Clemson's a very good football team. They, uh, they, they had to do to win the ball game. I thought Taj played a good game. Sammy did his thing. Uh, that big uh, touchdown run for him. Just a great job of breaking a tackle and taking him to the house. Uh, you know, both teams, I thought, had bright moments. I thought both teams played hard. Uh, came down to, at least we got it to the point we get it you know, to an onside kick. It would have been interesting to, interesting to know what would have happened if we had made that uh, short range field goal and got within seven. And, uh, I'm sure they'd play defense a little bit differently, too. But at least we would have had a shot at the tie at that point. But uh, it, was, uh, you know, it was a good point after that. We just had to try to score and get in position. Uh, you know, kick an onside kick, give us a chance for victory. But uh, we didn't get it done. We had to give them credit for the job they did. Correct whatever mistakes we correct, and then move forward. But I thought there was a lot of positive things that happened. I thought uh, Colin Barber did a good job of kicking off, and I thought our coverage team did a really fantastic job on the kickoff coverage. I thought Colin also punted extremely well. Um, I think we had some receivers make some great grabs. I thought Gurley ran extremely well. Uh, fortunately, on that first run, he, he strained his quad. I really, I was surprised he came back in the game, to be honest with you. Uh, had a, he came back early in the game after that and, and just was not effective at all. And then by the end of the game, he recovered enough to start doing, doing his Todd Gurley-ish runs. Um, but uh, trying to think of some other things that happened throughout the game. Just, uh, of course, uh, Coach Lillian did a good job on the design of the uh, fake punt. Uh, got that when we needed it to put seven on the board. Uh, another fourth down conversion uh, earlier in the game that uh, helped us put seven more on the board. And uh, so, you know, there was, there was some good things. I thought our defense at times did some very good things. You know, the fumble deep in the territory didn't help. Uh, we gave a really short short field in that situation. And in a close ball game, you just can't afford it. So, uh, anyway, next question. Coach, you guys play in a lot of tough environments week in, week out. How does this one compare to the to what you see week yeah, in, week out? It's pretty season? typical, really. I mean, it's it's tremendous atmosphere without any question. I'm not demeaning uh, what Clemson has here because they, they do have a great atmosphere. But we go to a lot of stadiums that have that type of atmosphere. So um, that's that's pretty typical for us. Coach, is this a good measure of where you thought your team was at this point? Uh, we learned a lot. I, I think um, – I think we had some uh, guys, you know, make some really gutty plays. I thought they played, thought they played tough uh, in a lot of situations. A couple plays got away from us uh, defensively. Uh, offensively, we uh, you know, we did a good job of moving the ball and scoring. We, you know, we got some scores and got some yards and all that kind of good stuff, but. We didn't finish the one drive, but we had to kick a field goal. We could have knocked it in. We wouldn't be worried about, you know, how high the snap was. Maybe on the extra point might have been a factor. But, um, you know, um, I, thought we did, I thought we did some good things and did some things to get you beat. So we'll find out how good we are next week. How frustrating were those penalties? Yeah, there's some penalties that hurt us. Uh, there's some penalties we overcame and some penalties we couldn't overcome. And uh, you'll have to look at the tape just to see. Exactly what happened on a couple of them, I wasn't quite sure, but uh, I'm sure the officials did a good job. Could you Mark, talk about some times when um, some of your injuries or experience in defense sort of hurt you? Well, I mean, I don't want to call anybody out or anything like that. I mean, everybody's got injuries, everybody's got issues. Um, and we, we played the best that we had available at the time. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate all the players' effort. And just. Uh, we're good enough tonight to get it done. Clemson, we got to give them credit. How frustrating was that, the drive to start the third quarter when it looked like y'all could have you know, could have maybe done something? But the penalty yeah, mistakes. I mean, it would have been nice to have something good happen there. Um, yeah, delayed game was, I mean, it was it was our fault as coaches. Uh, we did a bad job of uh, getting them out on the field quickly enough, especially to uh, be running a play where we get into our cadence and then try to make a change after we see what they're in and all that. It just takes too much time. 
could have called a timeout right off the get go, but um, you know, it just uh, it just a, just a bad job of coaching them right there. Mark, with pass protection tonight. issues at time, uh, maybe a lack of execution, or just us uh, uh, showing you some different. I thought, I think that when you play in a stadium where you're the opponent and, and there is a lot of crowd noise, you have to rely on the silent cadence, and, and you don't really get the jump that you'd like to have with your own cadence. And when that happens, uh, sometimes you just don't get, you don't get out of your stance quick enough. And that's that's really what happened a couple times, and, and then as the game went on, we got better. At it, but uh, you know, a couple of, a couple of times it just uh, it hurt us. Do you expect Gurley or Malcolm Mitchell to be affected next week? You know, uh, my best guess is that Malcolm could be, and uh, Gurley, it's 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 fifty fifty. I guess I just don't know on that one. I, I got a Malcolm could be late. Yeah, I got I got a I got a feeling his his might be worse than Thomas. What is his injury? Uh, he just hurt his knee. When did he get hurt? He got hurt uh, on the, on after Gurley scored and uh, in the end zone, um, jumped up to celebrate with him. When he came down, he hurt his knee. Or do you prefer the, uh, the Buffalo type of better than this road test against a top 10 team or just kind of, you know, you knew this result was possible? Uh, no. Uh, I, you're not going to hear me crying about schedule, so you know, I'm fine with our schedule. Coach, how come Marshall Morgan went able to play three games? Well, because if we didn't let him play. He wasn't suspended or anything. Well, what do you want? Just, just, just didn't let him play. <laughs> I didn't let him play. Mark Bealis did a good job, didn't he? Uh, extra that? points, Bealis did a pretty good job. Yeah, with I thought Bealis did a good job. And, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, the field goal attempt that we were getting ready to kick um, was just like a field goal. I think it was on the two yard line. It was just about sent right, it up. So you, you feel like he would have. Uh, Probably made that one as well. Uh, but yeah, he did a good job. Coach, it seemed like you got a lot of.